According to supermarket news, Sam's Club and Walmart are merging their supply chain teams. Uh, Sam's Club's corporate supply chain team plans to merge with the supply chain team, a parent company, Walmart, according to a memo that was obtained by Business Insider. David Gugina, head of supply chain operations at Walmart, who we also got to interview at NRF last year, uh, wrote the memo, which was sent to the Sam's Club supply chain team. In the note, Gugina expressed his excitement for the collaboration, stating that it brought together a, quote, supply chain that is future ready to serve both Sam's Club and Walmart for the long term, end quote. Additionally, a Sam's Club spokesperson told Business Insider that the merger will give employees seamless access to Walmart's enterprise resources and will provide a clearer path within the company. No jobs are expected to be lost in this transition as well, we might point out. Um, Chris, this is also our a and put you on the spot question for the week. Okay. Uh, are you ready for this? I am, mm-hmm. man. Okay. Of course. I knew this quote was going to come back to haunt me. They're quoting me from a couple of weeks ago when I made the very brilliant remark about no duh. Um, <laughs> they want to know a couple of weeks ago when the CRG colleagues were on with us. And I said that this falls into the no duh category. What was that in reference to? I don't remember. It was, it was Simon. Um, Oh, the Simon no. Properties thing? Simon Properties, like a, a mall having a marketplace. Like marketplace, Noda, yeah. that makes sense. Um, okay, so they want to know, does this fall into the Noda category for Walmart and Sam's, or is there something more complicated to consider for this union? Chris, what do you think? Oh, that's, uh, wow, that's really interesting. Um, I think I think to say it's a no duh does it a disservice. Uh, for the most part, I think yeah. when I think when you step back does from most it, things in disservice, no duh. Well, yeah, right, right. Well, yeah. From a pundit commentary okay. standpoint, yes, one hundred percent. Not yeah. not the most articulate comment, but no. But anyway, no. but hey, that's our show, and we're not yeah. we're not always big on articulation. Yeah. Um, both of us. So, but so I think it does it a little bit disservice. But um, but with that said. You could look at it. You could look at it. You can stop, step back, thirty thousand foot view. You're like, yeah, this is just really smart to do. It's kind of a yeah. no duh thing. But at the end of the day, it's probably pretty complicated. And then you also have to ask: Sam's Club's been around for thirty years, or mm-hmm. at give or take. Why hasn't it happened if it's a no duh? Right. So it takes it takes some That's vision really good point. and leadership to make something like this happen. Because quite honestly, the operations are different. Mm-hmm. Um, but my take on the announcement as well is that I absolutely love 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 this announcement this headline was the number one most read thing on omni talk this past week yep. as well um to me it's so darn smart because it highlights that walmart is again thinking digital first i went back and took a look at the article i wrote in 2019 about why sam's club is one of the most innovative retailers out there and the article for those listening is also what prompted john Ferner, who was then the ceo of sam's club Right. to request a meeting with us at grocery shop. We didn't request it with him, folks. He wanted to meet with us, and he gave us 30 minutes of his time to talk about the insights that we presented in that article. And so in it, for those of you who may not have read it, I posited that Sam's Club and Walmart would eventually use their supply chains together because really, why not? You know, It is kind of a no-duh. If I'm shopping at Sam's or Walmart, why wouldn't I also want access to bulk buys or single item purchases purchase options online, right? Mm -hmm. It just makes sense. It's a state of the world too. Here's the other point that's important. It's a state of the world too that only Walmart can do because Mm -hmm. only Walmart has these two things under its stable, but it takes out working the logistics behind the scenes to make it happen, on the back end to make it happen. But long-term, the organizational structure sets up this incredible point of differentiation. And also I would add, Walmart now has the digital tools on the front end, particularly via Walmart Plus and the very strong scan and go usage at Sam's mm-hmm. Club at the front end to complement it. So say you're in Sam's Club, you find something you don't want, you well, you can have it shipped in an you can have it shipped in an each if you want. You don't have to right. buy it in bulk too, right? Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. And that's where I think this is going. So sorry I took some time there, but but I just really love this story. Yeah, no, I I 
think that you all the points that you outlined are incredibly smart. I mean, all, at the end of the day, this results in customers of both Sam's Club and Walmart saving more money and living better. And that's the the main goal here for this entire organization. Um, the only other thing that I'm I'm curious about from this is will will this also help uh, Sam's Club and Walmart? learn throughout this process, things that can be shared then with other retailers down the road via like Walmart commerce technologies. Like what do they learn about combining some of these services or bringing in bulk ordering and, you know, each is ordering, like how do, how can they potentially use that as fuel down the road to, you know, boost that Walmart commerce technologies business that they've been really, um, promoting and talking about and working with retailers, especially over in Europe, um, to help them kind of bolster. I don't know if that's something that is even in the roadmap yet, but I think they'll, they'll be learning so much, um, from one, how to set this up the 30 years that it's taken to get that those supply chain channels merged, but then also to figure out like how they can, they can use that, what they've learned and, and really make things better for customers all over the world. Yeah, it's a great point. You know, at, at the end of the day too, you know, Digital success comes from great backend execution. It's what mm -hmm. it's what enables you to do the flexible things you want to do on the front end side of the experience. And uh, yeah, I thought your point too is like it's about continuing to help people save money and live better, and hopefully yeah. that they can find some cost efficiencies here and plow that money back into their continued approach to innovation. So, so does All Walmart right. win the weekend? Who wins the week? Because mm. you kind of poo pooed, you kind of poo pooed the shop with friends and went all in on the the buy it now thing. So who wins the week? Uh, I mean, we did do three Walmart stories versus two Amazon ooh, stories ooh, too. But we had an Amazon five insightful minutes. Yes, um, we did. You're right. So it was ooh. a fair balance. It's a fair balance and equitable show this weekend. I'm going to give it to Walmart. Yeah, I think I Walmart wins because the, the supply chain the supply thing, chain. Yeah, the, the holiday. Yeah, I think I, I Walmart by a narrow, narrow lead. Um, but yes, I think we'll continue to, we'll continue to watch these two. We need to have like a scoreboard up or like a bracket. We need brackets for this. I need another yeah, it's bracket. Like, this week was like Walmart 1A, Walmart 1A, Amazon 1B, rest of retail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 50. <laughs> Come on, folks, give us some headlines to talk about. My God. Oh, my God. 